Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve leak code 66 plus one. We are given a non-empty array of decimal digits. And so by decimal, they basically mean every digit is gonna be from zero to nine, right? That's decimals, any digit between zero and nine. And this array of digits is supposed to represent a non-negative integer. And our job is just to increment this integer by one. So it seems pretty straightforward, right? And they basically tell us that the digit is stored such that the most significant digit is on the left side, basically how you would assume that an integer would be. And we can assume that the integer does not contain any leading zeros, which is pretty intuitive, right? So for example, let's take a look at this. This is an array, one, two, three. So this array represents the number 123. We wanna increment this by one. How easy is that? Well, obviously we'd start at the right side, right? And then increment this digit by one. So three plus one is of course four, right? So we change the three into a four. Therefore this 123 becomes 124. And then the output array becomes one, two, four. Second example is pretty similar. This represents 4,321. Increment the first, the right-hand digit by one. So basically change it into a two, and then that's the output array. So that seems really, really easy, doesn't it? But it's a little bit misleading. They don't show you one case that will basically change these two examples into difficult examples. Let's say that our array was this. Let's say this was our input array, right? And remember what we're trying to do here, right? We're just trying to add a single number. So when I draw it like this, it becomes a little more obvious of what exactly we're gonna end up doing. We're gonna add one, right? So we're gonna add one to this nine, right? So nine plus one becomes 10, right? So can we change this digit to a 10? If we did that, we would end up with nine, nine, 10, right? And that represents the integer 9,910. Well, when you add one to 999, it definitely doesn't become 9,000. So we did something wrong, right? We forgot one thing. Remember back to your elementary school math, right? Nine plus one is 10, right? But we know that there's a carry. So nine plus one becomes zero and we take a one and carry it over here, right? So that's what the algorithm is. It's basically adding, keeping track of this carry. So again, we're gonna have nine plus one. That's gonna end up being again zero and we're gonna have another carry over here. So again, nine plus one, right? So now you kind of see that this, is, this problem is not just a single addition, it's gonna be a while loop uh, of continuous additions potentially, right? If we got an example such as this one. So again, nine plus one becomes zero. And again, we carry a one over here. But in this case, we ran out of digits. Notice that, right? We ran out of digits. So what are we gonna do with this last carry one? We're just gonna take it and add it over here. So I know I'm kind of drawing over the leak code explanation over here, but hopefully you can see this. Basically, we got the, ex the answer that we expected, right? When you add 999 with one, you expect to get a thousand, right? So our output array is actually going to have these four digits, 0, 0, 0, and 1. So this is what our output array is going to actually end up being in this example. And so basically, these are the main cases we have to go through, right? If you, ha if you have a 9 already here, it's not going to turn into a 10. It's going to turn into a 0. And if we ran out of digits, but we still had a carry, we're basically going to be appending that carry to our integer array. But notice how we are traversing the array in reverse order. What I'm gonna do though, is I'm actually gonna reverse the entire uh, array. And then, so basically I'm gonna turn it into three, two, one, so that we can start at the beginning when we add our digit one to this. And then at the end, I'm gonna take the array and then reverse it again so that we can get it back into the format that we want. Then we can return the, the array in that correct format. So with that being said, this is a, this is, you know, pretty self-explanatory that this is an uh, linear algorithm because we're having to iterate through the entire input array, which is going to be size N. So the overall time complexity of this is going to be big O of N. We're not really needing any extra memory other than the input array. So the memory complexity is just going to be big O of one. That that being said, let's jump into the code. It's not too bad, just a couple edge cases we have to worry about. So like I said, we're gonna first reverse this integer array and we can do that in Python just like this, pretty simple. 
and I'm gonna keep track of two variables. I'm gonna keep track of the carry and I'm gonna call that just one because I'm bad at naming things. And we're also gonna have one other variable, I for the index of the position of digits that we're currently at. So one, I'm gonna initialize to the value one because remember we do have to at least add a single one to this digit. I, I'm going to initialize at zero just at the beginning of the digits array. So we are going to continue to iterate through digits while, while our one digit is equal to one. And we can basically just, you know, say this as the condition. Now it's possible that our I could be incremented so much that it becomes out of bounds. So one thing we're going to check is that while I is at least in bounds, and the else case is gonna be if the i goes out of bounds. So if the i is still in bounds, then we're gonna be incrementing, of course, right? But there's one case that we do have to handle, one special case, what if digits at position i is equal to nine? That's the special case, right? That's the case where we get our carry integer. So if this is equal to nine, one is gonna stay as the value one, right? And we're guaranteed that one is right now one, like, I guess I should have named this something different, but this, this is gonna be the value one if our loop is executing at all. So this is gonna remain one, so we don't, have to, we don't actually have to write that. But as we add one to this, digits of i is gonna be reset back down to zero. But if we're not dealing with this special case, meaning if the digit is not nine, then we can ordinarily just increment it by one, right? So otherwise we're just gonna increment this by one. And if this was not nine, that means we're not gonna have a carry anymore, right? So we can take this one and then change it into a zero because we don't have a carry anymore. We don't have to continue adding anything. We can take this back down to zero. Now the else condition is when we go out of bounds, right? That means we reached the end. There's no more digits to add on to anymore, but we still have a one value. What are we gonna do in that case? Well, in that case, we're just gonna take digits and then append one to it, right? Because we're adding a new digit into this digits array, right? And also, since you know we, we don't have a carry anymore, that means we can take our one and now reset it again back down to zero, right? This is gonna terminate our while loop, which makes sense, right? If we appended a one, that means we don't have any more to add on to our digits array. And the one thing you don't wanna forget with while loops is to make sure you increment your index. So I'm gonna make sure to do that regardless of which if condition executes, we're gonna be incrementing i. And last but not least, we're gonna be returning our digits array, but remember how I reversed it at the beginning. So we're gonna undo that reverse and reverse it again so that we have it in the correct format that they wanted. And to be honest, you probably don't need to reverse this. You could just traverse the array in reverse order if you wanted to, but I'm really lazy and I don't like writing that code. I like going from left to right. So I just wanted to reverse this. So this is the entire code. It's not too bad when you make sure you handle the edge case of nine and you make sure you uh, keep track of the, what value the carry happens to be, whether it's zero or one. So other than that, I hope that this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. It supports the channel a lot and I'll hopefully see you pretty soon. Thanks for watching.